Hello all, welcome to part six of API testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain about the different application architectures that is monolithic application architecture and microservices application architecture. So we need to understand these two architectures to understand this API testing in a better way. So let's get started. So till now I completed API, what exactly is API and uh, how to download, install, register and log into Postman then what exactly is API testing with a practical demonstration and what are the advantages of uh, performing the API testing. And now uh, and uh, one more topic that is uh, how API is a middleman between front end and back end. Now we are in this topic that is application architectures. Okay. There are two application architectures I already mentioned that is one of them is monolithic. Other one is microservices. Okay. Understanding these two application architectures will help us in understanding the API testing in a better way. So first I'll directly show you a diagram for uh, these two architectures, two application architectures, or you can call them as application development architectures. Okay. So either the application will be developed like this or like this. Okay. There are two architectures for developing the applications guys. One of them is monolithic architecture. Okay. Monolithic application architecture. If the application is developed in such a way that all the code, okay, for all the functionalities of the application, in application there will be a lot of functionalities, right? For example, login, register, search, okay, like that multiple functionalities will be there in the application. But if the application code for all these multiple functionalities in the application are written at a single place, okay, a single unit, as a single unit if the complete application code for different functionalities are written at a single place, okay, combined way if it is written that is called as monolithic architecture here we'll have a database okay this uh, complete application code will have a database fine now coming to the microservices architecture here things are different okay here in this application there will be multiple functionalities for each and every functionality for each and every functionality or business component separate code base is maintained and for this separate code base a separate database will be there you see here this for uh, let's say for login functionality there will be one microservice and uh, for that separate database will be there for uh, for register account functionality there will be separate microservice here code for uh, register account functionality will be there and separate database for managing this code will be there like that uh, for search functionality separate microservice will be there and separate database for ma ma managing this microservice will be there this is called as microservices architecture so hope you got the difference between monolithic uh, application development architecture and microservices um, uh, application development architecture that developers can use while developing the software okay so earlier the old applications used to be like monolithic architecture where all the complete code base for different functionalities of the software used to be at a single as a single unit or single place but nowadays okay this uh, trend has moved to the microservices architecture for a lot of benefits this uh, kind of application development architecture is providing where for different functionalities different code base will be there and different database will be there okay so at a high level you understood what is uh, monolithic uh, application development architecture and microservices uh, application development architecture let me explain uh, in detail now since you got an idea what is monolithic and microservice let's uh, discuss few points about the monolithic now monolithic application architecture is a single unified unit that is complete code base for different functionalities of this application will be uh, written or developed at a single location okay it's not separated at single location okay every feature is part of the single code base only login is part of the same code base register account is same code base search functionality same code base or remaining functionality same code base like that okay but what happens if every functionality code is part of the same code base then what is the problem changes in one feature may produce side effects in other features right if you do changes to the login code okay login application of uh, login functionality of the code if you change some code uh, do some code changes in the login functionality of the application since it is a single code base there may be side effects in other functionalities of the application okay because of doing code changes in the login functionality the uh, changes uh, the side effects may come in uh, register account functionality or uh, uh, forgot password functionality etc etc okay that's the problem because they are all together right changing the code at one place will affect the will give side effects in other place okay takes a lot of time to do code changes guys okay so because you see if you put all the code at a single place and if you are asking to uh, do code changes a particular functionality what will happen 
it's not so easy to do the code changes okay so a lot of time will be taken by the developers to do these code changes because as all the code of different features is together uh, in a single box it is there all the functionalities uh, code is in a single box now we have to do code changes means it will be very difficult and also it will take time for the developers to do such kind of code changes because all the code is together and uh, uh, developers have to think in multiple directions before doing the code changes okay and also we are disturbing the existing features due to the code changes that's what is side effects right so if you are doing code changes in login functionality there is a possibility of other code func other uh, other functionality related code will get affected okay without you knowing okay we are disturbing the existing features due to code changes the things which are working fine already are getting disturbed okay because of you doing code changes in some other functionality and also quick deployment is not possible because of the above reason okay so if uh, you have done code changes about login functionality and you want to deploy it's not so easy to deploy the code guys because you have to check whether any other functionalities got affected or any other functionality got a side effects okay so the main problem is simple guys okay all the code is in single place all the functionalities uh, code is in a single place changing one part of the code will affect the other code because of that it will take a lot of time uh, existing features uh, which are working earlier will get disturbed deployment will not happen soon and all those problems okay this is monolithic application development architecture uh, which used to be there in olden days now nowadays everyone has moved to the microservices architecture okay so because of the problems that are there in the monolithic monolithic application architecture uh, people have now the lot of complex applications have now moved to the microservices architecture okay so what is a microservices uh, architecture okay what is a microservice or microservice uh, so uh, in microservices architecture development of application development architecture the complete software application uh, is uh, is broken down into loosely coupled modules okay the large complex software application the functionalities of the large software application is broken down into loosely coupled modules separate okay for login there is separate uh, code module uh, for register account there is separate code module for such functionality there is separate code module okay and these separate code modules need to interact with each other and that interaction happens over api okay login will communicate with the register with the help of, after register register has to communicate with login and this communication happens with the help of api script okay so api plays a key role here in microservices architecture where where the different functionalities of the large complex software application are broken down into loosely coupled modules okay the code base is separate for each and every functionality and this code bases of separate functionalities communicate over api calls okay request and responses will happen between the different code modules of different functionalities okay even they are loosely coupled okay here tightly coupled because everything is part of the same unit but here different units different units communicate over api okay microservices architecture break break down into a collection of smaller independent units here modules we are saying here units we are saying the same statement guys having separate logic separate code base for each and every functionality process service and database okay so every every code base will have its own database whereas here single database will be there uh, for a entire application logic but here for each and every uh, loosely coupled module or unit okay independent unit uh, there will be a separate database okay uh, separate logic will be there separate process will be there separate service will be there separate database will be there like that okay that's what is the difference between the monolithic and microservice okay communication between these independent units will happen over apis i already told you right here the communication between these loosely coupled modules or independent units whatever you call will happen over apis okay api calls will happen between them so what is the uh, advantage of this uh, microservices uh, architecture okay what is the advantage of uh, using this microservices architecture over monolithic as we already have seen the problems with the monolithic architecture here like uh, due to some code changes in one feature other code changes are getting uh, affected and uh, it's taking a lot of time for the developers to modify the code and also quick deployment is not possible but the opposite will happen here easy maintenance guys because code, code base is different so if anything uh, need to be changed in one of the uh, uh, loosely coupled module right you just go to that module and modify the code okay so it which will not affect the other modules of the uh, other modules uh, which are loosely coupled right uh, will not affect okay if login changes have to be we'll go to the login module uh, or login independent unit and do the changes there okay do the code changes there in the code unit okay so hence a easy maintenance okay it will take less time to do the changes because uh, we, we know that we are not impacting the other areas of the application quick deployment because uh, you just change the code uh, you just do the code changes in the required uh, 
uh, module and deploy it okay you don't have to worry about whether it is impacting or giving side effects in the other areas okay same reason not impacting the other features which is already indirectly part of this uh, two advantages okay so this is what are the different application architectures we have that is monolithic and microservices architecture okay and uh, here you know right in my especially in microservices architecture we have loosely coupled modules loosely coupled modules which have their own code base and uh, these loosely coupled modules will communicate over APIs. This is what is main is the important point, okay? Nowadays, all the applications are complex and uh, very large applications are there. Uh, they divide the application functionalities into different uh, loosely coupled modules having their own code base and they communicate over, over okay, APIs, okay? So hope guys, you understood uh, the different application architectures that is monolithic and microservices architecture and what is in trend now and uh, where exactly API plays a role in the microservices architecture. Okay, so that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to explain another API testing topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.